Hi hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen our other videos, please check them out as this will give you a better understanding of the whole project so far. But a quick recap, we are rebuilding a Sea Line SC35 sports cruiser we bought as an incomplete project boat on eBay. The hull is a full production hull fitted with factory fitted plug, which is a complete interior mock-up made of plywood, finished to a near perfect finish and then coated in wax. Moulds were then taken to produce fiberglass interior parts for the full production run of SC35 boats. The empty shell was then sold when Sea Line went into liquidation in 2013, with the plug still mostly intact. A subsequent owner then fitted windows, engines and stern drives, but unfortunately was unable to complete the project. We bought the boat in 2017 and have set about completely rebuilding and fitting out the new boat. So far we have removed engines, fitted engine bay mouldings, aft cabin bed mouldings, fitted a new floor and moulded a new forward cabin bed module. So in this episode we'll be preparing the hull in the forward cabin ready for the new bed module. Alrighty guys so we've got a day of hull prep today so we've got to prep the hull on either side here so that we can glass this bulkhead into place properly so that'll be nice and strong and then we've also got just a little bit of damage here on one of the stringers and you can see this on the top of the stringer here so this is we think this has happened in the factory because this was actually underneath the plug so it must have happened in the factory and we think what's happened is, is the string is just a little bit too high for the 18 mil that they use for the plug so they, they've just come in and chopped the top off the stringer basically so that's all fine so what we'll do is we'll come and clean all this up and we'll come in and glass that up with some 600 gram chop strand mat we've also got just a small amount of damage down here which is when we're removing the plug we think we perhaps just caught this with the maybe with the oscillating saw or the reciprocating saw. So we need to come in here, we'll make this into a little V-groove. We'll fill that with some polyester and some chop strand mats. We'll chop some fibers up, mix it in with some cavasil, make a little paste and drop that into there. And then we'll put a full 600 gram uh, chop strand mat bandage on there as well. So we'll need to come in and just sand all of this and that'll make a nice strong repair there. And then we've also just got a little bit of tidying up to do on where the bow thruster tunnel is here. We've just got a little bit of fiberglass sticking up here. You can see it over here. So uh, we'll clean that up as well. And then we can also start to get these sides prepped so that when we bond the bed module into place. So let's get straight to work.
Okay, so quick update guys. So Richard's come along here with the wire disc on the drill there and he's cleaned all this side of the hull up. I just need to remove some of these, but that's cleaned this all up really nicely. And he's also gone right up into the chain locker and got rid of all that flow coat as well that was there before. So we've just got this side to do now. And I've also just been cleaning up around this bow thruster. So where the glassing has been added in afterwards, just clean this up a little bit. Got rid of those nasty pokey edges. So that looks a lot better now. And also just put a little groove in here where these cuts were, just so that we can get some resin in here and then we can get a patch on there as well. Okay, so we're just coming in here and removing the excess laminate that was used to hold the plug and also the forward bulkhead into place. It wasn't well keyed to the hull, so it made sense to take it off now, and then we get a nice clean hull. When we come in with our new bulkheads, we'll get a nice strong mechanical bond to the hull. Okay, so at this stage I had to eat my words. Turns out that this piece holding the forward bulkhead on was actually quite well bonded to the hull. Anyway, with a chisel and a little bit of perseverance, we managed to persuade it to come off. Okay here we're coming in and grinding away that final bit of flow coat. I have to say this was a pretty unpleasant job. We got a high powered extractor pulling all the dust out of the cabin and we both got respirators on. Ideally should have had suits on as well but uh, we're struggling to get a hold of those in the current uh, worldwide pandemic. But um, yeah all done now so that's a good job out of the way. So next we need to come in and just get all of this vacuumed out and get rid of all of the dust out of the cabin. Alrighty guys, so that was quite the festival of itch, but that's all done now and looking really good. So we've come in and abraded the hull all down the side here, ready for the bed module. We've got rid of all of the blobs of glue off the side of the hull. And then we've also come in and got rid of all of the gel coat in the chain locker, 
grinded all that away and then we've also removed the excess laminate that was holding in the forward bulkhead and the bed module and then we've also come in and tied it around the original bow thruster install so we've got a bit of a dry spot here so we've abraded underneath there and then we'll come in some polyester resin and wet that out and we'll be able to stick that down so that'll look nice and smooth and this side as well and then we've also just cut a slight groove in these little bits of damage here so we can drop some polyester filler and chop strand mat into there and then bandage it with some 600 gram chop strand mat so yeah really good day's work hope you enjoyed the day's uh, video or today's video guys if you did give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one